Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes you get a picture like this where you've got very distinct zones. You've got the building here, you've got the white sky, and sort of between you've got this, this newer building, so it's a bit of the contrast, the older, the new, and stuff like that. So when you look at the histogram, you can see that there's a bit of a bump here, which is probably this one, and there's a big bump on the white, which of course can be the sky, and somewhere in between is this building. If we could bring up a curves, we can see this a bit bigger. So let's bring that up here. So there's the same thing. So we've got the building here and this lot up here. We can check where things are by using the picker. So I click on the picker. If I go to the top of the sky, it's normally the brighter part. Click and move the mouse a little bit and a dot appears. And there we go, that's where that is. And if I go down the bottom, click and move there we go, that is. So those dots there represent the extent of the sky. If I look at the building here, then that goes from about a bit further down, that's this one here, to in here, which is this one here. But what we effectively got, if you look at the histogram, is a kind of dead space here in which not a lot is happening. But what that means is we can make use of the curve. We can actually flatten it off across here because it's not going to have too much of an effect. Um, and we can sort of play with the the, the curve here. Because if you remember when we make the curve steeper, the, gra the gradient steeper, then the contrast increases as well. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is from here, round about here, if I move this up here, look at what's happening to this one here. See, this building is now getting brighter there. And if I pull this down, so there's an S curve. And in fact, which makes this bit in the middle even steeper. So we get the contrast of this building's more. Let's turn this thing on and off so you can see the difference. So I turn that off and on. See, I pretty much all I've done is I've made the, this bit steeper here. So I've made this building more contrasty, made it stand out more. Um, I could leave those there, but if I wanted to make the the sky up here a bit darker, if I right click on that dot to get rid of it, because the sky is in this zone here, and I wanted to bring this down just for a moment, I'm going to pull this down here so it's a bit steeper here, never mind what's happening to the building up here, you're getting going to get a bit more detail in the sky here, and you can kind of play with that. So if I right click on that dot to get rid of it, oh, maybe we need to new one in the middle to bring this up a bit here and I just kind of level it off. We don't want really any negative slopes because that's going to turn thing into a appear like a negative. So so if I play around with this you can see that because I flattened it off this building now is going just grey and maybe I can move this across so you can sort of play with this a bit. Maybe you can find something here where you can get contrast in the sky or not. Maybe you have to put another layer on, do masking and so on. But this is the general idea, is that when you have a, a kind of flat bit in here, there's not a lot going on, so this is all very low. I mean, there's not many pixels with the in these tones. Then you can use the others to make a steeper curve and get contrast elsewhere. So I can see I've got a little bit of contrast in the sky here and around here, so it's that like smoky appearance. We've got this now more in shadow because I flattened it, so I reduced the contrast in that. And this is more contrasty because of this slope here. If I think that's going to be a bit too much, I can always go back to where I was before. Never mind about the sky. I could just take this back up to here. Forget that one there. And just have this one over here. So I've got a bit of contrast in the sky. This is evening off on that building there. Maybe even going a bit further up here. So there's a bit more detail in the, in the building behind. And this one, oops, there we go. It's almost so easy to grab the wrong one here. This one is steepened. There we go. So we've got a lot more contrast in this building. Maybe that's about the best balance. You've got the shape of this building and a little bit of detail in it behind and a little bit of detail in the sky. Anyway, there we go.
basic principle, if you've got a dead spot in your histogram, see if you flatten it off and increase either side. You can get some interesting and useful effects just in one histogram. Thank you very much for watching.